What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anas. I'm a fourth year medical student studying in London. And in today's video, I want to share with you some of the essay memorization techniques that I used during my biomedical science degree. And these are the exam techniques that were really key in helping me do well overall to the point where in my first and second year, I was able to consistently rank in the top 5% in my year. And then moving from there in third year to just get an overall first class degree. So I'm not going to talk about how to write an essay or what to include in your essays because you're probably know better about your subject than I do uh, and also it's a bit late in the year so you probably just want to memorize your essays now but there's a few things that make essay type questions a bit more difficult than like standard short answer questions and multiple choice and the reason for that is the university can actually vary the way they ask the questions and the way they word them and so what that means is when you try and memorize a whole essay or a whole introduction it might not necessarily apply to the questions that they're asking so even though they might be asking a similar topic that you might have prepared the way they word them means that some of the things that you might have written might not be applicable the key strategy for me in order to to memorize these essays and also try and tackle these essay type questions was to create almost a filing cabinet in my mind where I try to store different categories of information and I can extract from them whatever I need whenever I need so if they ask a question which I haven't prepared then I can just extract this kind of information and then another type of information and then just build an essay that I need to kind of produce at that time. So what I've done is gone back to my time as a third year biomedical science student and try to map out the process and the key steps that uh, I took in order to try and do as well as I could. And I've mapped it out to maybe three steps or three categories uh, overall. And so we'll talk about some of them today. If you like this video at the end, then make sure you like the video and comment, subscribe, and also follow my Instagram as well. Uh, where you get to see behind the scenes of all of this and behind the scenes of medical student life. Uh, but enough of just the plugs. Uh, let's move on to the first thing. First step of the essay memorization process was to actually take the essays that I had prepared and distill them to its various subheadings and also bullet points. And what you want to do here is you want to create an essay format that favors memorization. An important point here is that the essay should really be like a story, right? Where you're taking them through a timeline of whatever it is you're gonna talk about, almost at a point where they can kind of predict what you're about to say next. When you actually distill it to subheadings and bullet points, then that story becomes very clear and it's easy for you to remember and it's easy for the examiner to follow. Okay, so let's go through some of the essays that I had written and so you know what I'm talking about. Here are some of them that I have written and let's go through one here. Okay, and you should be able to see on the screen. Um, and this essay talks about how bacteria evade the immune response. Okay, uh, and so what I have done here is uh, on the first page just added some information in bullet point format that I can use in order to produce an introduction if I need to on this topic. Since the title is how do bacteria evade the immune response and essentially the immune response of a host, then I've, I've got some information here in bullet point format of the relationship between bacteria and a host. So the relationship is commensalism, mutualism or, or kind of a parasitic. And because here we're talking about the immune response, then I've got broadly some information on the defensive mechanisms of a host, and then briefly what mechanisms bacteria use. And then finally, this is something that I would definitely include as part of the introduction, and that is the three simple categories of bacterial evasion. And in this case, it's evasion of phagocytosis, then evasion of the complement system, and then evasion through antigenic variation. By including this as part of the introduction, what I've done here is I've signposted and signposting means that I am preparing the reader for what I'm about to talk about. I'm about to talk about three categories of evasion and then I split them up into, uh, into their sections within the essay. But anyway, I've added it here as a bullet point, right? I haven't completely written it out. And then moving on from there, I talk about those three simple categories. So the first category I was talking about here is phagocytosis and then I've summarized it into six points. 
right? So why is it important to number those points? Well, what that does for me is that now I remember there are six specific points of phagocytosis evasion and then I can just kind of remember them. Okay, the first point was this, the second point was this, the third point was this, and I can do that while I'm writing the essay. But the other thing is when I number them in that way, then I'm also kind of signposting to the person who's reading my essay because then they can easily follow point one, point two, point three, point four, point five. And then I move on to talk about evasion of the complement system and then I move on to talk about um, how bacteria change their antigens in order to evade like T cells and B cells and all of that and evade immune kind of recognition. And so yeah, I, I divided it into overall three overarching bacterial evasion uh, mechanisms and then specifically within that for this specific essay I divided it into bullet points. Now you might be asking why is it important to format the essay like this when you're learning it? Well, number one, it's easier to memorize bullet points than it is to memorize big chunks of text. Number two, it provides you some flexibility and in order to learn large amounts of information in a short space of time it makes sense to only learn the high yield information instead of learning a bulk of words that you might not use right um, and so that is the second point point. and the third point is that it is faster to go through when revising a bullet point format kind of page than it is to go through a big bulk paragraph and that is key because that increases the number of times that you're able to go through that essay before your exam so the second technique that was really key in helping me memorize these essays as quick as I could was the use of the Feynman technique or group work. This is probably the only scenario where I actually utilize group work properly and where I actually found it really effective. The principle of the Feynman technique essentially just says that one does not truly understand the topic until they can explain it to someone else. And so what I used to do is sit down with another person and then talk them through specifically what I would answer for a specific essay question. So for example, if it was how do bacteria evade the immune response, then I would start off with the introduction and I would say, so in the introduction I would include so and so and so and then I would signpost to three overarching topics, phagocytosis, complement and uh, antigenic variation. Then I would move on to talk about those topics, talk about phagocytosis and how the bacteria evade them. And the way the bacteria evade phagocytosis is through six overarching points. The number one is through this, number two is through this, number three is uh, having a capsule, number four is, I don't know, whatever it was, I can't remember now. And then whilst going through this with someone else, I would also include the studies that showed these things. Why did I find this useful? Uh, so there's a few reasons why I found it useful. The first reason is that it really helped me understand the topic while I was teaching it to someone else because then they could pick up a specific points and then challenge me on them and then I can make edits to the essays uh, as I go along. But then moving on, not only did it help with understanding the topic but I also found number two that it helps with memorizing the topic right and the reason why it helped me memorize the topic is because while I'm talking through the essay to someone else then I'm actually retrieving the information from my brain and by retrieving that information you're actually using active recall and then by explaining that topic to someone else and you're articulating it to someone who's external to you then I found that it really cemented that knowledge in the brain as well so that it becomes easier to retrieve that information and what I found is that once I had gone through the essay like this with someone else in detail then I would actually never need to do that again and it was almost like I didn't ne really need to revise it much apart from doing it in my own time and trying to go through it as many times as I could. Now let's talk about the third and one of the most important techniques I use in order to try and memorize the essays real quick and that summarizes into the point of frequency and the easiest way for me to explain this is through a graph so let's say on the x-axis you have the number of times you've gone through to try and learn an essay right and then on the y-axis you have the amount of time it takes you to go through and learn an essay so let's suppose that you're trying to go through an essay for the very first time then for the very first time it might take a huge amount of time right it might take 90 minutes to go through and learn an essay and then the second time you try and go through that essay to learn it, it might take 60 minutes so you can see that the time is decreased and then the third time you go through it, it might take 10 minutes and then for the fourth it might take five and then after that it might take even a minute right and so what you can see here is that there's a relationship between frequency and time 
as your frequency increases, the less time it takes for you to go through an essay. So the first time it took 90 minutes, and then the fifth time it only takes 30 seconds to go through an essay. And this point is absolutely key because what it means is that towards the end of your memorization process, you might be able to go through your whole year's worth of content in say an hour. And that means that you can go through the whole years of content in a day, maybe 10 times. So if you're going through all of the essays, 10, 15 times a day, then there is literally no way that you're gonna forget stuff when you go into the exam. And so the point here is that you need to increase the frequency that you're going through the essays so that you can go through them as many times as possible before the exam too, and so you won't forget any of it. So how would I do this in terms of frequency? You've seen in one of my other videos where I'm going through my booklet and I'm literally just walking around trying to recall the points, I'll do the same thing with this. I'd probably sit in a room alone and try and talk through the essays as many times as I could. Uh, and then change essays and then recall the whole essay and then change essay and recall the bullet points, change essay, recall the bullet points. And that is basically how I would do it uh, in terms of memorizing all of these essays. And so having done all of this and when I got to the end of my revision period, I literally learned like 30 essays in about two weeks. And those essays were for infection and immunity module for biomed and then also cardiovascular and respiratory pathologies. Um, and essays for those and then I ended up doing quite well and then ended up with the first class So I was happy about that and the only reason why I mentioned what I got and stuff like that uh, Is because it just showed that this technique worked for me and so it might not work for every single person That's watching or it might be perfect for you, right? Uh, but there's obviously going to be some of you that are going to find this really beneficial and you might be able to utilize this and so um, yeah, I hope it was useful. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Make sure that to subscribe to the channel uh, if you like this video. Um, hopefully I'll be making more academic type videos uh, alongside with the vlogging type as well because I enjoy both types there. Um, make sure you like. I would like to see you guys' comment as well. And I try to reply to as many as I can, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Safe. Okay.